So our first question comes from Anonymous. This person didn't want to reveal what they're working on, but wanted to ask us a question, which we're cool with that. We're cool with Anonymous questions. People got billion dollar startups they're building here. So this person is building a marketplace using MemberStack, Webflow, Zapier, and Airtable. Specifically, this is a job board, and they're wondering about how to integrate payment, right? So there's a few ways you can integrate payment. You can do it on a monthly subscription, right? So every month for posting a job, pay me $30 a month, or you can have add-ons. You can say it's $30 a month plus 50 to be featured or maybe to target a specific demographic, like a, a tech job or a no-code job, whatever it is. And this person is wondering how should they integrate payment? So should they use mm -hmm. member stack on a monthly recurring Stripe, Jotform, uh, Typeform? So what is the best way to integrate payment into your no-code tool? I know Connor, you have experience with this. So this is definitely gonna be a question that you can tell us what your thoughts are. Okay, so funnily enough, this question is perfect to start off with because I was in that exact position probably six and a bit months ago. So on the Unicorn Factory, which is a freelancer marketplace, I also have a job board where clients can come and list their jobs. And then I basically put that onto a members only page and then freelancers can request introductions to those clients. So when I started off with it, I built it in Webflow forms just because it was the quickest way to do it. Also, I played around a bit with Airtable forms, but I ended up sticking with Webflow forms because it allowed me to track how far in the process people were getting when they were filling out the form. But one of the big challenges that I ran into over time was payments. Mm -hmm. And the problem with payments is that there is currently no good native solution inside of Webflow that allows you to take. I did have a brief little look into Webflow e-commerce, but I feel like for this particular use case, it wasn't gonna be a good fit. The idea that I had for my job board was to do something similar to WeWork Remotely, where there are two components to it. First of all, you can um, choose a category of listings. So like a basic one, a premium one, or a super mm -hmm. premium one that have different pricings and give you a whole bunch of benefit, uh, different benefits, for example, different durations of time that the project is right. listed on the job board, like highlighted listings, all those types of things. And I thought that was a really good way to, you know, give different types of businesses, different options. And then another thing that I wanted to do was have add-ons. An add-on that I wanted to add is to manually filter out the right types of freelancers for a particular client who has posted a job board. Mm -hmm. And so that is what we work remotely did. And I thought you know, this would be perfect for what I'm doing. So I went out and I researched a whole bunch of different tools that I could use to set this up. Now I tried them. I tried a lot of them okay? <laughs> and let, let me put it this way. If you are looking for the perfect form builder, you are not going to find it. Every form builder has its pros and cons. Mm -hmm. So what I had to find was the form builder that ticked most of my boxes and that ended up being Jotform. Okay. Should we go and have a look at what this job board looks like, the process of posting a yeah. job looks like? So let's go into post. So my understanding is that the form, maybe I'm, I'm, I'm familiar with Airtable forms. So when you said like the forms don't have the capabilities, what you mean is that some accept payment upfront, right? Some don't let you pre-fill some information. So what are those elements before we jump into the form that folks should be thinking about when it comes to payment, when picking the right form? I think the most important thing to understand is your business model or how right. you want to charge for job postings. Now, if you want to keep things simple and just charge a one-off fee, then you can use something like Stripe checkout links. And you. And so if I just had a single price, say $50 per job posting, and there was no add-ons, there were no differing plans, it was mm -hmm. just a simple one-off plan, then what I'd probably end up using is Airtable Forms plus a redirect to a Stripe checkout page or payment right. link that you can get that set up a lot faster but obviously the downside of that is that you might end up missing out on revenue for starters because maybe some smaller businesses consider it too expensive or other businesses were willing to pay you more than you were actually <laughs> charging so having variable pricing makes a lot of sense yeah it's just not possible 
to do with a tool like like Airtable or even Webflow. I suppose you could set up workflows that sends an email with the payment link, depending right. on how much they're willing to spend. But honestly, uh, job for like I considered all of those options, and I just found with the overall user experience that I wanted to create, this was just the best option at Got the it. end of the day. So walk us through the form itself. So right here, I yep. clicked on, and then it seems like there's three steps. You post a job, it gets reviewed, and then it gets published. So first one is just contact information, right? So I've got, I've pre-filled it here just it's, it's got, it's actually like a really nice form. I gotta say, I was filling this out and it looks really good, it's very slick. So this is all mm -hmm. jot form native. Correct. It's an embed. Yeah, so that was a correct. So that was like a big factor. Is it really? Uh, so this is just an embed. But yeah, you can. They give you quite a bit of freedom when it comes to styling your mm -hmm. page. And I'm not. I'm not a big designer. So um, like basically their default templates were really good. And then I just changed the brand colors a bit. And yeah. So the form really has three elements to it. First of all, the first step is you fill out your business information, what you've done now. Then right. the next step is, so when you click on the next button, now you post your some information about your project. And this is what I use to categorize things inside of mm. your table so that I can then filter out the freelancers that will receive an email. So if, for example, someone selects um, the design project category, then I'm only going to contact our designers and yeah so let, this a quick question here yeah. so what this does is that it it submits to an Airtable base and Correct. has a multi-reference tag not a, maybe a multi-reference or a single uh, a multi-select on project type and then finds the freelancers who are in that project category and shoots them an email to say hey there's a new job is that right that is correct got it and you take payment before you send that email that is correct. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. And yeah, and I've, um, you go. Jotform is what allows you to take that payment before form submission. Yeah, Jotform allows you to take the payments, but there's actually another thing that they allow you to do, which for me just completely sealed the deal. Mm -hmm. And that is that you can actually manually trigger if the payment is made. So if a client posts a job and I know for sure that I won't be able to find them someone because what they're looking for is way too niche, then I can also opt to not take that payment. So job, when the job submission is made, you get an email from job form with a link where you can then trigger the payment. So okay, that is a real good way to make sure that you're not accepting payments from people that you can't actually help. And so that was another thing that was phenomenal. Got it. Okay, so when I submit this, it sends over that payment link and then fills out your Airtable base. So this is how you would recommend for your specific project to go ahead and get payment. So I'll show you. So actually complete this part of the form and then we're actually gonna end up on the pricing page. Okay. Got it. So this is, so now all the information has been submitted and now they can pick their, their pricing. So you can see there I have three different listing types. One is the legendary listing, which is the most expensive one. Yeah, and then there's the epic listing and the free listing. And so you can go and pick one of those. And then below that, there's also an add-on section. And so in the add-on section, you can basically select the filter applicants add-on. And what that will do is I will then automatically filter out people for you. And you can see at the bottom that all of that is calculated, including the GST component, which is our tax. And then you can just add your credit card details, payment gets agrees to the terms and services and then just hit the send. Amazing. Yeah. Okay, cool. So I think this answers that question, right? So I think this is one way to implement the tax, the variable add-on, does the calculations all in one place. So I'm actually going to go ahead and drop this in the chat for folks. Go ahead and play around with it. Give Connor <laughs> some money. 
Uh, uh, <laughs> definitely, <laughs> definitely try the legendary listing. That one works the best. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best way to discover how everything works. But honestly, if you're interested in how Connor set this up, check out his YouTube channel. And, and honestly, just tweet at Hey, it. Aaron here without my sidekick, Connor. You just watched a clip from a stream that Connor and I put on every first Wednesday of the month at 1 p.m. Eastern called No Code Talk where we cover the latest and greatest in no-code news. We check out projects, answer questions, and cover a bunch of ground in one hour. If you wanna watch the rest of the stream from the clip you just watched, you can click here. And if you wanna join us live next month or just watch all the past streams, you can subscribe to the Automate All The Things channel. Enjoy.